Hello you lovely people, how are you all doing this beautiful day? I am Nishna and I welcome you back to my channel. This is going to be another fragrance haul video and this is going to be kind of a best of both worlds type of thing because I have got three fragrances from an affordable category and two high-end fragrances which I have been like eyeing for ages and finally I got my hands on those two. So I mean it's a lot of long list of high-end perfumes that I want to have in my collection someday. These are uh, two latest editions but yeah. I will be covering all these things which I purchased, what are my initial thoughts and impressions in detail in this video. The reviews for these will be coming later on so you have to stay tuned uh, for those as well. For now I can give you the initial impression of two fragrances from the house of, uh, from Parkos that I purchased. One is uh, Hold Your Breath, Issa Laurent's Libre and the next is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One. These two high-end perfumes I purchased from Paco's and I have got three affordable perfumes from the uh, from a Korean brand called Pecos and I'll be covering all of this in detail in this video so make sure you stick on till the end and before we jump into the video I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, ring the bell icon next to it so that whenever I upload a new video you are always notified of it and you don't miss it out. So, Let's uh, cut the intro short and dive into the video, shall we? Okay, before we start with the fragrances, of course, like I do, what's on my lips today? I am wearing the Wet n Wild uh, Cat Suit um, Metallic Lipstick in the shade uh, Acai So Serious. So. <clears throat> Sad story, this is a beautiful metallic pink color liquid. I like this one. But when I applied this, the wand broke, broke today. So, very disappointed actually. Now I will have to use something else to scoop up the product. I will be using it for sure. I will not be wasting it. I have to just find out uh, maybe a Q-tip or something which with, I can bring out the product and maybe with a finger or something that I apply because that is how I finished my lower lip today because it broke while I was doing the upper lip so a bit sad because lipsticks are precious little things and this is really a precious little thing a mini cute one but yeah nonetheless that's what's on my lips today so with that covered let's dive into the first two fragrances that I brought from bought from Parkos now Parkos is a brand that are um, authorized to sell uh, high-end perfumes the legit ones so you can rest assured that you will get original products at Paco's I purchased this from Hyderabad's airport so all the more authentic so quite happy and it did a serious damage to my uh, bank balance but nonetheless I uh, somewhat went about it a bit smart and I purchased 250 ml instead of 180 or 90 or 100 ml so i have got these two ones with me these two darling ones if you follow me on instagram you would know the day they came to into my life but then if you don't then you're missing out on these teeny tiny details that i share on instagram i'm not super active there but i try to be as much as active it's been difficult with a full-time job and youtube and everything i'm not giving excuses but i have a lot of responsibilities at my home as well Anyways, uh, not, not getting into that part, let's come back to the fragrance. These two are the ones that I purchased. Let me talk about Issa Laurent's Libre first. Now, this uh, has a very classic packaging. Uh, this is uh, white and uh, this is a textured environment uh, where the Libre is imprinted. Even the Issa Laurent uh, logo is got, uh, has got a pattern, you can touch it and very basic otherwise cardboard box nothing supremely different or uh, striking about it but wait for the bottle so when I open this safety lid there is a safety lid like this not the usual just which ends here it has a separate one as well that is how your fragrance is housed and let me take out the bottle oh my god it takes my breath away just look at it how Libre looks like you have the your YSL logo right here in a slanting way 
and this chained and this chained thing and this top black lid. Oh my God! Let's pray this. The most citrusy, zesty fragrance that I have ever come across. Although I'm not sure whether it has got bergamot or anything like that, but this is a warm floral fragrance I can make out. Orange blossom is definitely there. That is something I know for sure. Others are notes I have to find out. I haven't. Um, it is a very um, party appropriate kind of a fragrance befitting winters, date nights and what not. These are all from my first impression and of course I love this because I uh, smell the testers in the store and then only I knew that I want to purchase it because face it they are not cheapies they are they were not on discount so I paid full price it did a serious damage to my account but my heart is happy because I can I have something from Isaloron now so this is a 50 ml that you are looking at and the price point is no longer written on this it was written on the sticker that was uh, there on the plastic wrapping that covered this one and this itself hold your breath retails for rupees 5600 so yes this is a supremely pricey one please don't judge uh, me fragrances are my thing and this is what mainly the channel consists of i won't be purchasing high-end perfumes now and then so if you think that you will be getting a lot of fragrance reviews which are into the high-end bucket in this channel very soon that's not gonna happen look at my subscriber count i cannot afford that much so whatever i uh, do i'm purchasing these these are due to the job that I do so yeah I wanted to clear that out I have my eyes out for those I will be purchasing time and again but it will be still going to be a majorly affordable and average range perfume channel um, wherever perfumes I cover other than that also I cover a lot of halls of jewelry and all that so yeah those will continue as well but yeah, it will not be a high-end uh, perfume channel, uh, at least not in recent times, I can vouch for that. Next up is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I smelled quite a lot of variants in the store for this one as well. There is the, the one, uh, there is an intense version as well and all that. But the only one blew my mind away. Uh, they have this similar kind of protective sheath where you have this extra part. And just look at this bottle. It's so classic, so chic, and the liquid is a beautiful golden brown color. It's, it looks amazing. It looks so classy. It comes off, this entire thing comes off, and this golden spray is there. Okay. This is going to be my date night fragrance kind of a thing. It's so pretty. This is a very juicy fragrance, a bit seductive, a bit charming. It's a lot of things into one. I don't know what are the notes, but I can imagine a wedding evening where I wear this. I can imagine a close intimate dinner with my husband. I'll wear this probably. Yeah, it is an immensely beautiful fragrance. And uh, the lady sprayed on me this one uh, in the airport as well. When I reached Vadodara after uh, a layer over of what six hours or something I still had it so it works on my skin at least that's what something I know for sure but yes about the notes and everything I will have to search and find out test this out then only I will be able to give you my feedback this is pricey this is pricier than Isol um, Libra this is um, a 50 ml that you're looking at. This retails 6,225. Yes, you heard that correct. So I did a huge damage to my account, like I said. Trust me, this is not going to be a normal thing in this channel where I purchase high-end perfumes, but I was happy to have two great um, legendary fragrances in my collection. There are more and more in the line. 
uh, more and more from various brands and all. I have got my Chanel, uh, not eyes, I have Chanel, I have Burberry, uh, one or two fragrances. I have Versace's Bright Crystal. So I have a couple of here and there fragrances which have been gifted to me. And I'm extremely uh, grateful for those gifts from people who are abroad, friends, relatives and all. But this is my um, purchase uh, that I've done in recent times for high end. So it means a lot to me. Moving on and coming to a affordable alternatives. And this is called, a, this is a from a brand called Becos. Now, because means beautiful core collection of style. This is what is mentioned at the back as well. This is a Korean designer brand and they have this kind of like mini. So to be very honest, they had tons of things, but I didn't want to overburden my luggage into buying a lot of cute stuffs there, which I can get in mini so as well. On the contrary, what I did was I purchased three uh, perfumes from them and all are pretty much affordable. These are small size fragrances. You are looking at 20 ml. I have three variants. This is called Care. This is called uh, the pink. The red one is called Excite and the pink one is called Odious. So these are the three variants that I purchased. I tried the testers as well, but I don't remember the scent now. Give me a minute to unpack and I haven't even <laughs> unpacked it after coming back. And I'll give you my initial impression of these. Okay, let's start with El Excite first. This is an EDP. They are saying it's a 20 ml. This is this cute packaging that you're looking at. You have some information about the perfume on the back side of it. Uh, I purchased this from uh, Mount Abu. Uh, they had this store there. And I'm always looking out for good fragrances. And look at this beautiful looking bottle. It's a... Uh, ombre kind of a bottle it hits towards the red from transparent maybe this is the better yeah from transparent it goes to a red it has a silver cap a silver spray bottle let's spray and find out how does this smell because I forgot this is a bit fruity woody kind of a fragrance I am quite liking it yeah a bit fruity a bit floral and a bit woody all mixed into one but this is a quite a nice scent uh, i don't know how long these will last because i haven't uh, tried them i just smelled using the tester in the store so i know that this smells good otherwise i wouldn't have purchased it so this one like i said it retails for rupees 299 so that is the first one from Becos. I will check if Becos is available online. Then I'll try to link up these in the description box below. I will be trying to find the Parco's links as well for Isolana's Libra and Dolce and Gabbana's the only one. I'll link those up in the description box below if I can find the online links. Next is Odious. This is a pink and white on the same line of packaging. And the back you have got the fragrance information related to this fragrance as well. Let's smell how Becos uh, odious smells like. Okay. Are you one of those people like me who find packaging extremely difficult to open? Like these parts, I don't know. Is it only me or you face the same thing as well? Okay, so this is on the same lines. This is uh, again moving from transparent to pink silver cap also i have another fanaticism i would say the sprayer needs to align with the front of the bottle for me i always change it i don't know if you do the same or not but i do it it matters to me it's a very weird kink thing i guess it's a weird thing but it's there this is floral this is a straight up floral fragrance quite up my alley yeah, very much liking this. Now I'm mixing up all the scents now. I believe I should have coffee to sniff as well. It's very difficult to make out the scents now. But then yeah, this is this is kind of a bit floral. So moving on to the last one. This is called Care. It's white and blue, and the back has got the fragrance details as well. You are, all of these have got the safety lids. 
I don't know if you will be interested in looking at individual reviews of these because these are super affordable fragrances and they smell very good. I'll spray it here only to get the authentic scent because it has mixed now I can't smell. Ah, Care is aquatic. It's fresh. It's very lively, it's fresh, it's a happy scent. And this one is very common. I mean, it reminds me of one of the layer uh, water girl fragrances. Maybe it is magic or adore. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but along those lines and it's quite, quite beautiful and I am liking this quite a lot. This is also an EDP, a 20ml bottle which retails for 299 So all of these are quite affordable. So quite a stark contrast to the starting of this video when we were talking about Parkos fragrance, uh, fragrances that I purchased from Parkos. And now I'm ending with a Korean um, brand and um, called Bekos. I don't have much details. It's uh, just that I know they are a Korean designer brand. That is what they have written. The, pro, uh, the price point is quite affordable if I compare it with Miniso and Muso as well on the same line. Nonetheless, that is what is all uh, my haul from my trip to uh, Vadodara Mount Abu on the way via Hyderabad I went and that's why these two dairies came into my life. I'm extremely excited about these fragrances. It will take some time for me to review them and uh, I mean test them out and review them for you but I will definitely do it. Let me know if you want to see uh, reviews for the these as well and uh, I will try to bring those along. But yes, as for first impression, I love all the fragrances. Those have been tested uh, initially but I haven't I don't have the notes with me or the longevity because I haven't worn it much. I just said, uh, uh, smelled the scent in the store and I purchased it and I'm sharing my initial impression uh, with you guys at this point. So, so yes, we have come to the end of this video for today and I hope this was a fun video to watch as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this, then don't forget to give this video a like, share with your friends and comment in the comment section that uh, if you have purchased any of these high-end perfumes, if you are from Mount Abu or Badodara, if you have purchased anything from Pecos, because I don't know if Pecos is available in other states or not. I will have to search that online a bit. While when I do the reviews for individual fragrances from Pecos, I will be doing more research and I'll be giving probably a bit more background about the brand to you. But uh, till then, if, if you have if you have used uh, any fragrances from Pecos, feel free to let me know and let in all others because this seems like an affordable, similar lines of Miniso and Mimoso kind of a brand. So yes, uh, uh, if you have stuck around till this end, then thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you have enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Join this family. We are a growing family. We just hit 1000 subscribers. So I want to grow more of course and that is only possible if you support me. If you are enjoying the content, might as well subscribe to me and ring the bell icon next to it so that you never miss an update whenever I upload a new video. And uh, you can also follow me on social media. All the details are there in the description box below and at the end of this video. Make sure you check it out. I will see you in my next video with some other content. So till then, stay tuned and stay happy, stay healthy.